You know, it's true. When, when something exceeds your ability to understand how it works, it sort of becomes magical. And, and that's exactly what the iPad is. It's hard to see how something so simple, so thin and so light could possibly be so capable. The iPhone was a revolution, and we learned so much from it and developed so many amazing technologies, all the applications, the multi-touch user interface. It was truly an incredible breakthrough product. We wanted to take all of that and apply that to a whole new class of product. The iPad is the best web surfing experience, the best email experience, the best photo and movie watching experience. It's going to change the way we do the things we do every day. The face of the product is pretty much defined by a single piece of multi-touch glass, and that's it. There's no pointing device. There isn't even a single orientation. You know, there's no up, there's no down. There's no right or wrong way of holding it. I don't have to change myself to fit the product. It fits me. We looked at the device and we decided, let's redesign it all. Let's redesign, reimagine, and rebuild every single app from the ground up, specifically for the iPad. And with this large a display, you get apps that aren't just a little bit better than their smaller counterparts. You get apps that are an order of magnitude more powerful. The iPad is the best way to browse the web. For the same reasons that it just feels right to hold a book or a magazine or a newspaper in your hands as you read them, it just feels right to hold the internet in your hands as you surf it. And with a screen this large, you can just see more of the web as you're surfing it. I'm taking the New York Times. You can see all the top stories. They're all just right there. If you see something, you just reach out and tap it. It's completely natural. You don't even think about it. You just do. The iPad is a world-class email client that's incredibly fun but very productive. You can go through huge quantities of email really quickly, and it's fun because you're doing it all with your hands. When you want to compose a new message, the keyboard automatically slides up from the bottom. And this keyboard is practically the same size as a laptop's keyboard. If you want to focus on a single message, just rotate to portrait, and everything else gets out of the way so you can concentrate on the content you care about. iPad is absolutely the best way to view and share your photos. You see every one of your albums there as just a stack of photos. And you can just pinch open to peek in a stack or just pinch it open and look at all your photos. If you want to share with a friend, you can just flip over the iPad and the iPad automatically flips the photo to the correct orientation. This is an unbelievable device for watching video. The user interface we built for this is just fun. When you see something, you touch it with your finger and it starts playing. There's no delay. The quality of this video is amazing. You can double tap, fill the whole screen, we also built an incredible mapped application on here. It's really fast. And we created a calendar application like nothing you've ever seen on a computer before. Another app we're really excited about is called iBooks. When you couple books with a high-res color display, reading an ebook is just such a pleasure. Now, not only can you read books on it, but the UI actually flips over to reveal a bookstore behind it. And with a tap of your finger, you can purchase and download a book and immediately start reading it. So now we have three phenomenal stores on the iPad. The iTunes store, the app store, and now the iBooks store. We built the iPad to run virtually every one of the more than 140,000 apps available on the app store, as well as the ones you've already downloaded onto your iPhone. So the apps you use every day and all the games you love playing will run on your iPad right out of the box. Plus, with the release of the iPad SDK, developers will be building apps specifically for the iPad 
So there's going to be a whole new gold rush for app developers. The iPad is the most advanced piece of technology that I've ever worked on at Apple. The innovation in the product really starts with multi-touch itself. This multi-touch is the largest that we've ever built in a product. And it's on multi-touch of this size that you really feel the power and performance that multi-touch can offer. By putting well over a thousand sensors in this multi-touch design, the level of multi-touch accuracy that the customer will experience is unprecedented. When you take the product out of the box and hit the power button, the display immediately comes to life. And I think our customers' experience with that will be, wow, this is a really vibrant display. The backlighting system is LED, and LED is what gives you the crispness and color quality in the display itself. Beyond that, we use IPS technology. IPS is a premium display technology that gives you not only a great experience looking directly at the device, but also off-angle when you're sharing the device with someone else. The reason why this product responds so well, and you really feel the performance of it, is because of the custom silicon that we designed for this product. That silicon is called A4, and it's really built by our hardware team in concert with our software team. And what that gives you is a level of performance that you can't achieve any other way. It also gives you the efficiency to achieve a battery that lasts all day long. Apple's the one place that you can really do this. We build battery technology, we build chip technology, we build software, and we bring all those things together in a way that no one else can do it. One of the most important features we designed in the iPad was an affordable price. Usually when you get the brand new latest technology, it starts at a high price and over time it gets more affordable, works its way down. We wanted to do it differently. We wanted to take all this advanced technology of hardware and software, do everything we could to get it into the hands of as many people as possible right from the start. The iPad starts at just $4.99. And that's really exciting. The iPad, on one hand, is clearly way bigger than just a new product. This is a new category. But yet, millions and millions of people are going to be instantly familiar with it. They're going to know how to use it. In many ways, this, this defines our vision, our sense of what's next.